We're on a time crunch. We're going to do a quick dive to top five McNuggets because Ch- Super Joe Charbonneau just walked hey. in the studio. And he's going to be joining us in the second hour. So let's blast through this top five so we can get to the guy that used to fix a broken nose with a pair of pliers. Yeah, Super Joe's in the house. We are hyped. But as always, the Ultimate Five is sponsored by Roundstone Insurance. Roundstone offers a better alternative for affordable quality health care. For more than a decade, Roundstone Insurance has been saving small and mid-sized businesses money, an average of up to 20%. Yeah, 20%. That's nice. more than 19 Contact Contact us today to learn how you can get great healthcare benefits that your employees will love and save money too. And today's top five, the most stressful overtimes in sports as far as which format of overtime causes the most stress to fans. Oh, got it. Okay. 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 That's a good one. And number five? Yep. By the way, number one is easy, but Mikey's going to screw it up. I can predict already. <laughs> your track record. Petty you know, LeBoule. Your track record is good. <laughs> Petty LeBoule. Well, let me get the Petty LeBoule uh, <laughs> super up real quick. Petty yeah, get that uh, ready. Get that right. ready. It's coming. Oh, what's up? Nice. It, Number five. I love the nickname, but it's not really appropriate for this thing. This is not being petty. <laughs> and we have Super Joe in the house, right, but we can argue about right, your terrible yeah, nickname yeah. later. Super Joe's more great. <laughs> Number five, though, is the NBA. It's not sudden death. It goes back and forth. The final minute is good, but sometimes with the That's re- fair. Uh, reviews and delays, it takes forever. Not a huge fan of the NBA. Yeah, though. I'm not either. I wouldn't even put it in my top five. Yeah. yeah. Four. They should do an Elam ending in NBA uh, post uh, overtime. You know what the Elam ending is? No. I'll explain it later. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. It's yeah. too. Don't get us too far. There's too much yeah, math yeah. to tell. Before I think it should be a half court yeah. shootout. Bring your best five shooters, <laughs> five shots. I'll from, tell you about the Elam ending. I bet you you love it. We'll do <laughs> it later. Right, what's yours? Go ahead. What's, Number four, what's four. The NFL. It's good, but it's not perfect. It's the awful. coin flip. It, it, I don't think it's awful, but I don't think it's great. I don't like how the coin flip situation yeah, works. Trash. The fact it's not yeah. sudden death, it's lower on my And the yeah, fact that you can trash. lose in overtime without ever having a yeah. chance to touch the ball. Yeah. Rock. Yeah. So, so far, you're F minus, but what's number three? There's not a ton of sports to choose. No, I know there's not. Yeah, there's, I, there's, there's six. There's, I left one off. You didn't throw cricket in? Cricket is not in. Okay, here. I didn't think you did. Uh, number three, this would have been number one two years ago, but they changed the rules. College football. I was on the field for LSU A&M seven overtimes. Oh, that nice. was the most epic thing of all time. Now they have to go for two-point conversions after the th- uh, second overtime. It's still good. I like the back and forth. Both teams get the ball, but it's not what it used to be. I, I once did it. play-by-play six overtimes of a Division three football game. It was phenomenal. Insane. I love college footballs. I think I would have it number one. I, that would have been my number one. No, yeah. definitely I, not Even the one. new yeah. format, no, though, it. where no. it's Mikey McDougs might actually get it right. I, I, I might have kept criticized him too early. No, the, I, I do. New I like that. Where you have to go to point conversions, though. Yes. The old college football would have been number one. I know, but I still like I still like this one. I know he better have the number one I'm thinking about. Yeah, I know what his number one's going to be, but I think it's going to be wrong, too. Good number two. Number two is baseball. No, that should be number yeah. one. The best part about baseball is every pitch There's is tons crucial. Of yeah. The stress yes. between Absolutely. pitches. I actually don't even mind the runner on second base. That's what so. I was going to ask. Do well, we love not... or hate the ghost runner? I like it. Well, but in the playoffs, there is no ghost no, runner. I, know I do not. love the ghost I like the ghost runner. The I never thought I would, but I like it. I bet you Joe's not going to like it. You like it? Joe? We'll ask Joe. Joe <laughs> hates the ghost runner. I knew it. I hate yeah. it. I knew, I, it. I, I, you know I, I knew he wouldn't like it. Ghost you can't change the rules of the game right, right, right. at the end of the game. <laughs> right, and that's right. what they're doing. That's just, that's it's stupid. stupid. Why? They do, it no, they, oh, they do it in football. They do it in all, mostly. In all sports. Mike, Ghost man, not Mike, basketball. You know the, one. the quarter and overtime is five minutes. What's, what's number one? one? Number one's hockey. This is what's uh, five nah, the list. It is sudden death. You, you blew it, bro. You can go to four overtime. No soccer? What happened to soccer? Soccer, bro. I hate penalties. This is America. Nobody cares. Get some more. No, so quickly, we'll tell you why we love or hate soccer. Soccer is... That, that doesn't – it'd be like doing a field goal kickoff oh, in football. You, for, wait a why second. Why would you did, do that? Did you see what happened to the English team? No, I've seen these. I, I, <laughs> and there's, the pe- there's drama. The penalty so kicks is not the, all of overtime. First, they do those, play extra No, I know they yeah. do. Those kids got lambasted in London afterwards. But afterward. what you're essentially <laughs> deciding the game on is one skill set of a game that includes 30 skill so we, sets. This, we this, don't like none of the mother skill sets. So do we you want to do in goals. football? Why don't we do in football then? Let's bring the – talking about the field goal kickoff. The home run derby at the base. Home run derby. Jay, extra Jay, one of the most stressful overtime. <laughs> this that thing is stressful. stressful. Well, <laughs> only for the goalie. I think well, the NHL is the because kicker. it's always a golden goal situation. It's golden goal. The, the we second go you go to overtime, overtime, everything and and yeah. these games end. They always end with the, you're thunderstruck. You're like, oh my god. It's, a go- it's actually it. a good it's list. Over. I would flip flop hockey and baseball personally, but I think it's a good Man, list. I'm that, shocked you guys wanted that, soccer. That soccer that that kick is a piece. Man, it was, it's a piece. I, I, just, I would just like to see. We got two brothers on the panel, and they're they're advocating for soccer. You know, it'd be funny. Boom! What would be funny is seeing seven foot bread sellers play. Soccer. As a goalie. goalie. Yeah. Put him in goal. I want yeah. him in goalie. That's, exactly. That's cheating. We're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, I'm thrilled because when I was 15 years old, this dude was 
not just changing the Indians' life, but he took baseball by storm. Super Joe Charbonneau. This dude still be lifting weights. Look right at him. Look at this yeah. guy. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's joining the show when we come back. Gee. Stay with us. Uh, hey, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Cleveland sports to me is bigger than anything. It's bigger than some people's marriages. They say the Dallas Cowboys are America's team. No, 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 no. Dallas is not America's team. Cleveland is America's team. And sports in Cleveland is a religion. Uh, it's a way of life. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter. Sports is a way for people in Cleveland to get together. And it's something that can't be replicated. In Cleveland, sports is a thing. Recognize that feeling? It is the feeling of being together, enjoying the company of a familiar face and sharing moments that matter to you, to me, to us. What matters to some could impact all of us, especially in a place like Northeast Ohio. Here, stories are shared from east to west to south. Stories of perseverance, of family, of love. If a story brings us together, it's what matters most. News you can trust should be news you can rely on. And every night at 11 on What's Next, you can rely on us. A new legal twist for Brown. Today also marks the beginning of Odell's. here, and we are going to continue. So the Guardians have to play almost. You can rely on us to help you go to bed better informed with stories that prepare you for tomorrow. And with news that's relevant to your life. We'll make sure that you're ready for what's next. Because being ready for tomorrow is what matters most. Hi, my name is Jay Crawford. I am a lifelong Cleveland sports fan. I have carried my fandom every city I've ever lived in. People have always asked me, why are you so diehard about Cleveland? It's because I'm from here. And we know how much our teams mean to us. Most of us know that because of our parents. In my case, my father was just a huge Cleveland sports fan. It was really part of our life. It was woven into everything we did. And it was our connection throughout his life. All right, welcome back to the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Jay, and wait I a second. Pleased. I thought we were having Joe Charbonneau, not Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, here. no kidding. <laughs> well, that's what, what happened? I was just going to say, ladies Jeez. and gentlemen, lay your eyes on the most jacked uh, six, look at this guy. soon to be 67 year old you've ever seen. Give us a flash, Beautiful. bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my God! Wait, what does the tattoo say? What Believe the and faith. Believe and faith. Yeah. And he's getting married Yo. in a week. Listen, yes. I know you had a couple comeback attempts. It's yes. crazy. Let's get back out there right now. <laughs> I don't rem I remember you being a big dude, but you weren't like written no. jack like this. Yeah, the Indians wanted me to always stay under 200 pounds, 200 pounds or under. So they would actually pay me. And back then it was like five grand, which is a lot of money when you're making 25, 30,000 right, right, a right, year. Right. You know, you yeah, know how that right, is. Right, right. Old school <laughs> salary. Old school Man, yeah. you were born 25 <laughs> years yeah. too early. Yeah. That but what I anyway, for. yeah, it was hard for me to stay under there. So, so you got, had weigh-ins? We had weigh-ins. I We did as a team once a month anyway, but I'd have them twice a month. So I got to know the guy at service to scale. <laughs> and on my weigh-ins, I'd have him tweak it. So I always had a five to seven pound difference. Nice. <laughs> I wonder if Bull or at, or if we, yeah. Bush are doing that. Hey, They're having a weight loss that, challenge right now. Bri That's Brianna, yeah. Yeah. Brianna don't be playing that. She'd be in there looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch Gosh. the scale and put your, put your pants on, G Bush. But Joe, <laughs> now, now the guys, I mean, now the guys are huge compared to when you played. They're huge. They're monsters. They're huge. I had to come in the spring at 185 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, right. And when the Indians traded to the Phillies for me, I weighed like 218, 215, 218. Okay. And they, yeah. the so Phillies I were had, fine with that, but the Indians were not? The Phillies were fine. They traded me to the Indians. I played in 79, about 218 okay. in the Southern League and led the league in hitting, hit like 352, and all of a sudden they wanted me to come in spring training at 185. One of the many brilliant How stupid is that? Yeah. yeah. He has 352 in the minors, and they tell him to come on, 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 on yeah. Two years in a row. That's ridiculous. Like what, was 350. That what was that thinking based on? Computer. At the time, they just they started computers. using computers in baseball. <laughs> they did, but they took up a whole room. Yeah, right. And they did 150th of what they do now. You set yeah. one on your lap, in those days, you'd have two broken legs. Because yeah. they took up a whole room. But... The computer spit it out that I was always going to have a weight problem. So 
F U computer. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you always know growing up that you wanted to be a baseball player? What did what what was your target when you were a kid? Oh, growing up in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, just watching the Dodgers and Giants and the rivalry there. Yeah, yeah. You gotta remember at one time. I forgot which pitcher hit, I think, Roseboro over the head with a bat. Yep. He was throwing the ball back. Remember that? It brushed, might have been Juan Marichal. Brushed his head. He turned around and hit him in the head with yep. the bat. And that's mm. how much those two teams hated each yeah, other. Yeah, oh, yeah. So that rivalry the got so days. interested in baseball. Good old days. Yeah. <laughs> the good old Who was days. your favorite player watching those back oh, then? Oh, Willie Mays, of course. Uh, of course Willie yeah. Mays was yeah. something. Oh, my God. When did you know what that becoming athlete. a pro ball player was, was a possibility? Um, first time I got drafted. Wow. Seriously, I didn't yeah. know so I was going to get drafted. So you didn't know in high school that you were an exceptional player? I didn't play much in high school. I was really? an average at best player. I was How late you developer. Drafted? I just kept lifting and working, lifting and working, practicing, practicing. Mm -hmm. My guys would be going to dances, my right. friend. I'd be out you playing with my little brother. Work, yeah. You right. know, under the lights, California, there's a yeah. tennis court across the street. They lit it up to you know, 11 at night in the weekend, we just keep hitting. Tennis balls would come over, we'd keep them and hit with them, you know. And, wow. Uh, that's how we wow. got all our bucket of balls, you know. Yep. We'd find tennis balls they didn't want back. We'd put them in a bucket and pitched each other. And we'd go back and forth. He ended up getting drafted. and I made him play with me. He wanted to go do stuff. I'm like, no, 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 you're practicing. He owes you. <laughs> <laughs> he owes me, but he got drafted by the Indians and I believe Pirates, and he played at Tri C in this area. Okay, nice. And then he yeah. finished his career at Coastal Carolina. Okay. But it was all that practice and believing and doing it. You know, you know how it is. You doubt yourself one time. Yeah, and well, you got to stay at it. I mean, you stay humble yes. with the game. And then, but here, I, I got to go back to G before we get to the show. <laughs> Look at his physique. It's, it's, dude, this is insane. unbelievable. I'm not this kidding is, you. This is freaking unbelievable. Thank yeah. you. Yes, thank it is. Well, you know, uh, look at our yeah, great no, shape. I'm like, I'm, looking at you, I'm, like, I'm like, he comes in here like, Gee, was he flexing when he walked man, in? Man, this, this is unacceptable. I got to listen. G, G uh, said, we gotta get I'm, the I'm gym, going to the gym, man. I'm going to the gym immediately after the show. I mean, you're, you're almost 30 years younger than yeah, him. I, this is unacceptable, bro. That, that, I, I'll tell you this. I, you know, I talk to I talk to Brad a, a lot um, about the difference in, in difference uh, in, in generations. You know, when my my father came up, the first sport I ever played was baseball, right? Yeah. And baseball was in the major cities. Yes. Everybody played baseball. Yes, sure did. When you were coming up, you know, how, how was baseball? How big a part was baseball in the community as far as the youth of playing baseball, and, and how is it today? And why has why do you think it's kind of fallen off a little bit? Well, that's a great two part question. One, it was so big to me that I grew up in a migrant farm worker community in California. Okay. A lot of Hispanics. Okay. Sure. I mean, there was probably 20% uh, white families, the mm -hmm. rest Hispanic. They welcomed me in, played baseball with them. They had teams they played after. And this is in a big orchard. Okay. And they had a field built for them. Oh, okay. And, wow. and they were pickers. And they worked in the orchards, mm -hmm. maintenance, picking. And families lived there. And they would let me play with them. And they were good ball players from Mexico. Holy cow. I played some uh, off-season baseball in Mexico. I right. never realized how good a baseball was played in Mexico. So they allowed me to play with them, taught me a lot, worked with me. I didn't have a father. Okay and just brought me along. I was always playing with them, always play catch with them, the kids, the adults, and you know, they're so family oriented. They just kind of adopted me and and they were great teachers. It all worked out. It worked great. So there's playing. so many myths around your career. I want to play a quick game with you <laughs> called yeah. Joe Charbonneau Fact oh or Fiction. My God. Here we go. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number one, fact or fiction. You did fix your broken nose with a pair of pliers. My scripts, that is, Fact. Wow. Oh, I got hit. Joe. Well, I got hit in my roommate's idea. Of course, it wasn't his nose. Yeah. Got hit in the minor leagues, and back then you didn't come out of the game or anything. No, no, that no. was '76. Uh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and I was playing for Lee Ilya, who's just a maniac. Oh, if right. remember, I remember Lee. You remember that Lee? Was the, oh, he the famous my rant at Wrigley Field when he ripped the fans. Very famous ripped rant. the fans. Yeah, yeah, he was killing the yeah. fans. And yeah. you don't do that at Wrigley <laughs> Field. No, he <laughs> ripped he paid the, the price for it. One of the greatest rants ever. He's like, "What Google are you doing it. here?" Yeah. 
at a day game, don't you have jobs? Yeah, I know. Who are these bums? Of course they don't. They live in Chicago. Of course right. they don't have jobs. So you, you took the vice grips. Yeah. And, well, he took them and said, oh. this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Clap them on my nose. Of course. Do. And you never said, wait a minute, this doesn't seem professional. Well, I didn't say, stop. Let's put a cloth over at least. You're tearing my nose. <laughs> so okay. We did that. So oh that had to hurt God. like hell. Yeah, that, that didn't feel <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, fact or fiction. Oh, man. You gave yourself stitches once. Is that true? That's true. This man. What is how did you know how to do about? that? Well, again, yeah. my neighbor, older <laughs> guy, his job. idea. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> when it came to the oh rap, God, I was here. rap of my mother at that time, certainly, because she's like, I don't want you playing in that field baseball. It's full of glass, and you'll cut yourself, oh. and I'll have to take you to get uh, stitched. Yeah, right, like, right. Oh, Lord. We're playing. So you couldn't tell her. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Remember the old pepper back and forth? You're running in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I fell down, and oh, sure enough. My buddy goes, oh, you cut yourself. I go, oh, no. He goes, Mom's going to kill cut. me. Go home. They'll, you'll go get stitched. I don't understand. I'm, I'll get a wooden shampoo. She'll hit me with a rolling pin on it. She would have been upset that you, she's so upset. You got to get a medical bill going to get stitches. Oh. Well, yeah. He goes, my mom's a nurse. She has a kit in the garage. Oh, wow. You know that hook me and he sure. starts stitching me up. Oh, <laughs> so hold on, hold on. Wow. You stitch yourself up or somebody stitched you up? He he stitched. Here it is. Uh, there it is. It right didn't there. do a very good job. And probably this was another kid. Yeah. So how this was? How old were you at the time? Do you remember? It's probably like twelve. He so was this was another like twelve-year-old. Seventeen. Did this? Did you cry? No, he was seventeen. Oh, he was seventeen. He, he knew what he was doing. He was almost eighteen. I don't know. Did he cry? Did yeah. Cry? Did you cry did at you all? Cry? I don't think I cried when I pulled his ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fact or fiction? It, did you really open a beer bottle with your True. eye socket? That was a party in junior college. <laughs> <laughs> a scar on one of those. This man and I did it once. God. You did it once. Those were twist offs. Oh, that's the real. Did it? Everybody was amazed, clapping. And when I got back to, from the doctor getting stitches, <laughs> well, at least you went to some the doctor. guy had stole my girlfriend. She was gone. What? Oh. Yeah. Wow, what a night. night. What a night. She had left with a teammate of mine. Oh, Very nice. She must was, be losing Was now. it Rick Manning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it Rick Manning? Yeah, it was no. Rick Manning. <laughs> <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even second. going there. <laughs> Somewhere down I'm right not even here. going <laughs> to the Rick Manning. All right. Um, I don't know if this is true. I read it, and I'm like, I got to ask So far, you. they're all true. So I know, the but this one was the one where I'm like, I don't know how you even do that. This yeah. could be a fun. Okay. There's, a, there's a story out there that you once ate six lit cigarettes. That, that's true, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ellie asked me about this. They were watching. The walk they were story. watching me because I had to hold them down to win the two hundred dollars. Oh. All of a sudden, everybody went over. They let the birthday cake. It was at my uh, teammate's birthday party, seventy-eight in Visalia, California. <laughs> I was playing with the twins. I took that brief moment to light the cake and sing, and I ducked out the back door and just. All over. Just oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Came back in and they're like, You want some cake? I go, Yeah. They're like, He still hasn't thrown up yet. That's impossible. You put lit cigarettes in your mouth, Joe. Yeah, yeah, I know. This man ate a cigarette sandwich. Well, oh, there's a trick to that. You do all six at once, so you, you only have to swallow one. Baseball players are crazy, man. <laughs> Did you burn your mouth? Like, it had to be at least quick, right? I, actually, I took a Sweet. Swig a beer, put it in, and then washed them down with beer. That <laughs> Joe, when you were playing gross. in the big Yeah, it was horrible. But I did get you have another one? I've got two more. Oh, go, I've got go, two yeah. more. Were you really stabbed by a fan? In Mexico, yes. Oh, wow. Story, please. Yes. Uh, we're in Mexico, and this guy had uh, escaped from a asylum. Okay. Nut house. Yeah. I guess yeah. he not shouldn't surprising. say that. Nowadays, that's not yeah. sure. right to say Right, that. yeah. yeah. And he had stabbed a French consulate before me. Oh, my God. He had stabbed another guy. Damn, Joe. And I'm leaning up outside. We're waiting to get on the bus to go yeah. play in Mexico City. Against my hands, he came up and goes, where are you from? Well, I go, Cleveland. Well, California, because I hadn't made the team yet there. And he stabbed me. And so, all the teammates, my oh teammates my jumped on him. Probably and, beat the hell out of him. Oh, God, I didn't recognize him. 
There was hair all over. He had long hair, pulled it out. He was all beat up. <laughs> oh my God. Now, you did not give yourself stitches after this. You That's went to the hospital. No, I went to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Good. Wow. This oh and here's the last one, and this was crazy, too. Yeah. <laughs> you ate light bulbs? Is false. That That's false. false. We got false. false. That's internet a bridge man. too far. Inter yeah, it's on the internet, so it's got to be true, right? False. It was a whole street light. Yeah. No. I <laughs> so you did not crush up light no. bulbs? No. no. That did no. Not. That's okay. a, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. that. That's great. Five out of six are true, which is Joe, amazing. Yeah, you're, five out of six. I can't still, lie. You're still a legend to me. Joe, no. when, you, when you guys were playing, well, whether it was minor leagues, big leagues, I guess, doesn't matter. At that time, were you guys immediately game over? Six pack in hand, like is that happening in the locker room? I don't know if it happens anymore. You know, we game with a no, but when over. you play, oh yeah, yeah, you guys were drinking right yeah, in the locker the, room, right? The beer cooler, yeah, oh right yeah, there. Right, or the wow. tapping yeah. cooler, yeah. Right there. And we wow. would sit and talk. What? My wife and son would go home, <laughs> and we would sit in there. Literally, I'd get home a couple hours after the game because we'd talk about the game, hitting, what we did good, what we did wrong. Guys like Hargrove, Hera. Um, Manning? No, he was out doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was he doing, I wonder? <laughs> you in the streets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Rick. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry Rick. No, Rick, was the, Rick was the pretty boy on the team. Yeah, though. Rick. Yeah. Rick had options. Them, Rick was pretty. In yeah. the streets. In the streets. <laughs> we, all, we all sit around and watch him get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Not undressed. <laughs> but, 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 but that's crazy. I, I mean, can we go back to that time? I mean, that was great. That right? was, yeah. I'm born in I'm born in well, 81. And, the, and the, just being hanging with no, no, no. the fellas so and Joe, the, hanging Joe, out. It was Joe, so cool. Joe, what year was that? What year was that with the beer? Um Probably in the minors too, right? What's that? Oh yeah. Beer, well, right? he, he but 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, yeah. That was done in the big leagues up till yeah. I'm sure the big leagues. Or weren't there buckets of like the greenies and the oh, you know, yeah. all that stuff too? Greenies were legal. Yeah. Managers yeah. used to Jim Leland used to burn heat right in the dugout. Oh yeah. He you know, kind of hide a little bit, but you Hass would, a Hass would have his heaters in the dugout That's right hilarious. now. That's hilarious. Which was a great teammate to play with. Do you think Joe I mean like it's unfortunate because obviously you came up, you were a great player, and then you had the injuries. Yeah. And had you played later, they obviously medical is better now. They could have, you probably could have come back. Yeah, I think there would have been a difference. They, yeah. didn't, they couldn't scope you then. Yeah, right. So, I mean, that's a big intrusion when they cut muscle through your back like <laughs> Oof, two, three yeah. times like that, and it heals. Yeah. And I've had some stomach issues, yeah. surgery, stomach surgery. Yeah. So that much muscle to heal before they scoped. Certainly, when scoping came into sports, it, it oh, yeah. sped up. The longevity came about as an athlete, yeah. you know yeah. that, and it sped up recovery time, and you could get back on the field twice as fast. Right. Oh yeah, right. I, I remember. ACL used to be career. Oh, I, I, yeah. I was thinking yeah. about the essay. So, yeah. so, so ACL. Bernard King for the Knicks. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, the first yeah. ones that had the ACL and thing. came back. And he was out like almost three years. I know yeah. it used and, to be and terrible. He was, he was a mere shell of himself. He was still killing me. I was like, yeah, I was like yeah, he on yeah. one leg still yeah. killing me. So just I, I've had three from the time from my first to the third. The protocol changed 180 degrees. After my first, I was in a leg immobilizer for six weeks. That just, you build up so much scar tissue. That yeah. makes rehab so much more difficult. It is. You After my third, I was on an exercise bike 24 yeah. hours after they replaced the yeah. ACL. The, right. the, the, the thinking now is move. Yeah. And I can only imagine with back surgery how things have changed from right. 81 to yeah. today. Oh my God. It really yeah. is. Do you, are you bitter? Are there regrets for you? Because you seem like you're just perfectly content. Yeah, I'm not bitter because, you know, as an yeah. athlete, you guys know playing sports it, it, at any level. You hate your career to be over. Sure. After high school, it's hard enough if you never play again. Right, right. After college, it's difficult if you never play right. again. You can always still play, you know, lunchtime Larry stuff yeah. and then see older leagues as baseball guys. Sure. sure. But as a pro player, that's kind of what you do. And you take pride in that. And if you can't play, back in when we played, yeah. You didn't come out of the lineup unless something was happening. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. guys were Let playing. None of these maintenance yeah. days. It yeah. was hard to swallow, <laughs> but I had kids, and my family that's, was more important. That's a good question, because I wonder if this irritates you. The way, you know, we used to have to go at it, right? You would, They had to pry you out. Oh, of yeah, now. yeah. How about, how do you feel today? You know, the guys taking days off. Oh, now, this God. Is, for maintenance, no one plays maintenance 162 days anymore. Off. No, but I'm yeah. saying from the, standpoint, from the standpoint of, 
it's the littlest thing now. Yeah, right? and the they're out of the lineup. Thing. You're gone. I'm like, well, even gone? not injuries. It's just rest days. No, now. the biggest one I heard, at, like, I feel like going through the TV and popping somebody is <laughs> he can't play because of a stiff neck. Yeah. <laughs> I had a stiff neck for three years since Bruno spoke out. What'd they do before that miracle pillow? Yeah. Yeah. You know? My neck still I remember stiff. folding the pillow up like origami just to <laughs> do it around my neck. You know? Okay, right. They have the best beds. Yeah. They have the best pillows. They have the best oh, yeah. medical oh, stuff. Best travel. Travel, they right? Travel. They, they get massages look, look, all the look, look, time. Look. God we almighty. Stay, we want to stay in the Four Seasons and risk calls. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, right. not Joe, uh, our, our producer <laughs> McNuggets just found on two different websites, which makes it more likely to be true, yeah. that uh, in addition to the fact or fiction, you once t- t- drank beer through your nose. Oh, that was, yeah. That <laughs> That's was true. Now six out of seven. <laughs> yeah. So how does that happen? Did you do it out of a straw or did you just pour it in? From I used to box and do different things, so... I remember the doctor had to fix it, another broken nose. He basically just stuck some big steel things up there, twisted and said, now you have no cartilage up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I go, can I drink a beer up there? He goes, yeah, <laughs> if you wanted to. So as soon as my nose healed, I tried were it. Were all these done to win like, bets? I mean, because you could have made a ton of money. Pretty much to win money. And yeah, stuff, you yeah. could have made a living doing By that. By the way, guys, the first time I met you, I don't know if you remember this, we were doing a, a radio remote a number of years ago at Sweet ba- or uh, that bar right next to Sweet Basil Pizzeria, and you came oh, by yeah. to say hello. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yeah, this. yeah. And, he, you know, I was like, Joe Charbonneau just showed up at our remote. This is so cool. Yeah. And he was so nice. And then we played a couple of charity softball games together yeah. at the Lake Erie Crushers Field. Yes. Where I would chat with you and Len Barker. That is a great guy. Oh, man. Had some good stories. But I don't, the last time I played in that charity game and you were there, I, I don't know if you remember this, but I'm playing first base. And all of a sudden, Travis Hafner comes oh, up on yeah. the other team. Yeah. And I ran into the outfit. Yeah. I'm not playing first base. Travis yeah, Hafner just retired. So I'm a 300-pound, 50-year-old fat guy. It I'm was so fun. Oh, yeah, oh, that was, but those so were great. Much fun. It Joe, was a ball. Speaking of softball games, I don't know if you remember this. I haven't seen you since this happened. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure you were there. I know Vita Blue was there. Rich Gossage was there. Ooh, I was playing crazy. in a softball game in Columbus. And the game had just started. And there was a guy on second base, two outs, fly ball to the outfield. He was running. I'm playing third base. He gets to third, and he goes down. He's oh, having yes, a heart attack. he had a heart attack. Yeah. And I the, was, the a, most I was real, in left field or something. But here, I, 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 it was the most surreal thing I've ever experienced. It was 4th of July. It was 4th of July. It was the 4th of what July. what happened was, and I've seen Goose many times since then, and we always talk about I love this. Goose Gossage. It was the what most surreal guy. thing. Goose Gossage has his glove under his head. Yeah. Vita Blue's holding his feet up. Oh You're God. standing over him saying, is he going to make it? <laughs> <laughs> They're giving CPR to this oh guy God. on the field That's in the crazy. first inning. Damn. And he ended up surviving. We all signed a bat. They took him to him in the hospital yeah. in Columbus the next day. But I got to tell this story. A good buddy of mine who it was wasn't with a former MLB or in, yeah. and part of the celebrities, we needed one more player, so I had invited him to play. Growing up, you were his favorite player. Every time I see this friend, he tells me, I'll never forget the time they canceled the game in the first inning because that guy had a heart attack. They canceled the game right there. That was it. And my buddy was so furious. He he wanted to say he played with Joe Sharp. Oh, yeah. We didn't even get him back. Wasn't that nuts, though? It was scary. I was, like, sick to my stomach almost to see a guy you didn't think was going to make it. I didn't think he was going to make it either. And I was talking to his wife afterwards. Who was, I think, a nurse, wasn't a she? A nurse, but she really couldn't. She was so terrified as being a nurse and stuff. It was scary. The, I didn't the think he was going to make it. was for one of the hospitals in Oof. Columbus. Mm. So, thankfully, there were a lot yeah. of doctors in, the, in, yeah. in attendance, but it did not look like he was going to make it. Oh, it I didn't so think scary. he was going to make it. I was physically thought he was going to get sick because to watch somebody, even though I didn't know him, yeah. we had talked before, and he just... Bam. Yeah, it was pretty emotional. He just went bam. Went right down on the ground. It no was no scary. indication. Ooh. But thankfully, um, it thankfully was he made it. Ooh. I gotta hit Joe with a couple of quickies. Go ahead. A couple of quickies. All right. Number one, what we talked about drinking with teammates before. Yeah. Which which teammate, or maybe yourself, if you're if you're the answer, could drink the most beers without passing out? If you had to pick one guy to, to drink the most beers. You're asking him to tell Clubhouse secrets here. Ah, nobody's gonna get in trouble. Yeah. It's illegal to drink. I'll start at the bottom one. Okay. The guy we like to get 
It didn't drink a lot, yeah. like you would think. We'd love to get Lynn Barker drinking, because <laughs> his nickname drink? was Lynn Barfer. <laughs> he would drink a lot. He would projectile people. He's going to kill me. <laughs> Lynn has a drink in a long time now. And uh, not that yeah. he had a problem. Right. He, he just, just wasn't just a, a big drinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lynn Barfer. So yeah, he would drink sc- he would scotch and water. And oh. So I would go. Yeah. And get him a straight scotch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's no water. He take yeah. a big sip. You're a bad influence, Joe. <laughs> You're a bad influence. Oh, who are some yeah. other names? Uh, Bull, yeah. Bull wants dirt. Yeah, we want dirt. The biggest them. drinker I ever saw, the best at drinking just beer all night, yeah. all day. George Vukovic. Remember George? I oh, do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't play with him. I played with him with the Phillies. I was yeah. traded to the Indians, and he later came over to the Indians, yeah. and I was sent down. By the way, his son, uh, real quick sidebar, uh-huh. his son Vince Vukovic. Played minor league baseball for the Batavia Muck Dogs, and I was the play-by-play. Oh, man. was he good? Not, I mean, he made the. He's, if he, anybody in the minor leagues is yes, good, but good. he's not good enough to get to yeah. the majors. No. Yeah, George so he was. He could put him down. Player. Yeah, George. He was the was drinker. Phenomenal. Yeah. And I was pretty good at drinking beers Wade at Boggs, that time. Wade Boggs t- has told me stories where he could drink a case of beer. Yeah, I on, a, on a flight. Yeah, on yeah. a team flight. Yeah, I've seen Wade drink and still hit 370. That's, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> As long as chicken was involved in the pregame game. Oh, meal. it's all he ate. Yeah, Remember that? that was chicken. it. Yeah. Chicken. I uh, spent a triple A when I got sent down. It was Wade Boggs, Brooke Jacoby, might have been Pat Town. I don't know all these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Charleston, and we got rained out, so we all ended up at the ball. <laughs> it was crazy. I can't tell that story, but Wade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because might have been a bachelorette party. That's <laughs> maybe you get into a story and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's not going to end good. Let me yeah. I'm going gonna, gonna to put the brakes on that story. Yeah, yeah. we got to put the brakes. Who would be the last guy to pick up the tab with a bunch of players out? Last guy to pick up the tab. Not Ron Pruitt. He would pay Ron Pruitt? No, he was always in the bathroom. With the oh, okay. Tab. So he, he'd be the last guy picking up the Who tab. had the alligator Lenny arms? I can't reach the check. Okay. Lenny was good. Toby Hare was good. Hargrove was good. Really? Yeah. One time, we're not... A quick story in Chicago. Yeah. You know, it's been Chicago. Yeah. Lenny comes by, and I hit a home run, and he won the game. And it was a day game. Okay. Yeah. In Chicago, so we we're all at a yeah. called Flapjaws. It's a famous bar in Chicago. Yeah. And Lenny goes, I got his first drink to the bartender. And the bartender goes, what do you want? I go, pitcher kamikaze. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn went over and was talking to some girls yeah. or, or whatever, and he came back and goes, how much do I owe? And he goes, 68 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what the F? Which is like 500 bucks. now. Oh, yeah. That was a <laughs> hey, if Lenny's paying, go all in. <laughs> so, since we, since we got the elder statements, man, I'm going to ask you guys, it's not very often you get two professional players on the same panel, right? That's true. Um, what is the what is the most expensive thing you bought when you got your first check? Mm. So the first thing I, I probably the most expensive thing I bought when I got my first check yeah was probably my truck. I was, I was I'm coming out of Ohio State. I didn't have any time driving a little Nissan, right? So I bought, <laughs> and I bought a Chevy Chevy Trailblazer. I walked right into the place. I said, "Give me that truck right there." <laughs> what, what I, I didn't even this? have a contract. I said, "Let me roll out of here with this truck." Well, you're I, I, I was on my way to Chicago. I'm taking it, yeah. I'm taking it. You're going to be a baller. you got to drive like now, a baller. Now, what year was that? That was 86. Okay. 86. How about you, Joe? In 76, when I got my bonus check, I bought a used Volkswagen Super Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's pounding the ears. I was pimping. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was pimping. Joe, I, I think the only thing that we've missed on I'm you serious. is how in the hell was a, a television series not created, and it was just called Super Joe, and it's just the life of Joe Charbonneau coming up through the minors. <laughs> should be, they There's should do so it now. Stories. I mean, that'd be a great reality show. They, they can do it let's now. Let's get a TV HBO, show. HBO, yeah. let's get on the show, the Super government. Joe. Back then, the censors wouldn't let me no, do it. No, that's that. true. But now, you could do you could do anything. Yeah, that'd be great. I'm surprised the one story you didn't have. Oh, tell me what I missed. Was, well, well, one of my favorite is it. And for my 21st birthday, I was way playing, 76. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when I got back, my friends are like, we're going to celebrate your birthday when you get back. And so we're at a bar across from this zoo we used to hang out. Happy Hollow Zoo in San Jose, California. They're like, what do you want to do? Okay. you got to do something. Yeah. I go, 
I'm going to get drunk, and we're breaking into the zoo, and I'm going to ride a ride now. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. That's HBO, amazing. Yeah. Are you that is amazing. So we got drunk. We climbed over Happy oh Hollow Zoo. No, you didn't. And They're like the most fierce animals no, you, you got on a rhinoceros? Yeah, the cage was like <laughs> that high. They can't jump on me. So I just yeah, climbed what? over. What it was bro. sleeping or whatever. I got on. I didn't realize they're as wide as this table. They're big. Uh, Whoa, it got up and I flew. It chased me around. I got up. They can't see. You're lucky see. it didn't kill you. They can't see. Joe, oh, yeah. You, you really are. A, you're, you're like this Did you get arrested? Life guy. Huh? Did you get arrested? No, you guys got no. Away with it? Nobody ever no, knew. We got out, went back oh, to the bar. See, today they have cameras in that Yeah, they yeah. Nobody Holy knew. shit, that's Super Joe on that rhino. <laughs> so my buddies go, my 60. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, what did I break? <laughs> Hey, listen, Joe, Joe, listen, don't worry about it. Studio <laughs> Joe, don't worry about it. You know why? What I pray. We it's just all... added to your list of stories. <laughs> it's all replaceable, brother. Don't worry about it's it. all replaceable. Oh, why? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Joe, you have a lifetime invitation. <laughs> you are Thanks welcome you in our studio. Any Every day. Time. Yo, this is Can you afford it? Yeah, yeah, it's all replaceable. It's all good. Yeah, I got all right, baby. It was just a, nothing important. It was a glass, like, decorative thing that was, yeah, holding, that was up. holding up the football it's nothing. the helmet. It's, it's nothing. nothing. It sounded like somebody dropped my glove. Joe, That's why it's a DH. Joe, here's what I've just figured out about you. Yeah. Everywhere you go, stuff breaks. great stuff <laughs> happens. Yeah. No, no, no. This, let, listen. That's all replaceable. Uh -huh. Yeah. What happened just now, you can't create that. It just organically happens. This gonna oh blow my the internet God. This is going to blow the internet Joe, all the way Joe, up. Joe, you were my favorite player in 1980. Oh. You're still my favorite Thanks player. Thanks, you, Josh. A whole different player. <laughs> but you're still my favorite Joe. player. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, you are Thanks, absolutely you Oh, my incredible. God. We didn't even talk about the team. <laughs> no, I know. I wanted to get to. That's next week. Who cares next about time. that? Yeah, the next time you come in, we've got a we lot more talk about for the you. Oh, but yeah. I, I do want to ask you this. Um, I know a couple of years ago, you were uh, the hitting coach at, at Notre Dame. I still Did, am with Are Lenny. you still doing that? And yeah. Lenny's the pitching coach. Lenny's the head coach and pitching Wait, coach. Wait, oh, Joe, that's or head coach. He helps Here's pitching. the thing. I'm coaching a little league team. Uh, I've I got to get you and Lenny to come oh, teach my kids. Can, I'd we, be happy. can you come for one practice? I would be happy. Would oh, you really? I'd like to do that a lot. Would you do it? Yes. I Look at this. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. 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 More about to yeah. cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really gonna do that, bro? I love you, man. Oh my God. Hey, come here. Let me touch this you. Is come it. here. Let me I grab used you. to follow. <laughs> Bo knows. I used to come. I saw you at Time Warp when yep. you were yep. on. Yep. Um, I remember okay. the Another first bar. place. Yeah. Was at um, it's over by Brook Park. Um, uh, I forgot the name. Yeah. I saw you in Dustin. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. We, yes. Joe, we have to let you go, but before we do, yes. we oh. love. Athletes that come from other parts of the country and then put their flag I in love Cleveland. It. My grandkids you were stayed born here. here. My daughter. Why? I love it. Cleveland's a great place to raise um, a family. Great place. I, I think it's a great. The Midwest yes. is a great place. It is right. Well, we're and so Bo glad you doesn't stayed. know this, but I lived in Lockport. I don't think I ever told Lockport, you. Lockport, New York. You went to college right down the canal from in Brockport. Rock. Brockport. Yes. Yeah. At Gasport, Brockport. I was in yeah. Brockport. Yeah. I didn't know you. Never no, told I, me that. Five years there. Oh wow. I loved it. So I did. Love, you play in the Penn League? By the way, I can't remember. Did you ever play in the New York Penn League? I started. I was there a week before they started. I got bumped up to what the team Carolina. Was it? What team were they? Auburn. The Phillies were the Auburn, Auburn Double Days. Which I was is only the exact, there a week. Exact same field as in Batavia. The field's yes. exact. Did you ever play at Oneonta by any chance? No, they the kicked biggest me up dump. after a week. Well, that's good. I, I, I was lucky because that allowed me. I was still yeah. 20 yeah. to go up and start higher A at the uh, Carolina League, Western okay, Carolina yeah, right, right. League, which is a big boost in your career. If you yeah. can start a notch up. And yes, I hit, 100%. Right, right, right. I hit 300 right. Development. Uh, half year, so that helped yeah. a lot. Joe, it, it, maybe my, my memory is wrong because it was over 40 years ago and I was 15. But in my memory, you hit a home run either in your first at-bat with the Indians or your first game. Am I misremembering that? First game, that? second at-bat, Anaheim, then first, last at-bat, home. Ooh, home okay. opener. Okay. So opener on the road, opener on home. I knew there were the pitchers. Do you remember? David Frost and David Frost. What I remember a him. memory. Was it Tom Buskey? Tom Buskey. Tom wow, Buskey. Wow, that's what a yeah, memory. I think so. Yeah. What a Joe. 
And you, Beto, you got to come back. You got to come will. back. You made our day. Sorry. Joe's the man. great Joe Charbonneau. Flexing. And now we have a story <laughs> that we can you. tell yeah. about oh the great oh, I love them. Thank you, guys. So we're going to take a quick break. We've got much more to come on the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. It will no way, shape, or form live up to what you just watched. I need Thank all these pictures. Come on, Jason. We got to get the pictures. Oh,